Hi, Bill. Um, uh, to answer your questions, I figured instead of sending you a sound, a, a sound clip, I'll send you a little video, and that way I can illustrate a little bit better the difference between the small and large Alan Tanisazi. And then we're going to uh, have a sound clip as well. Okay, here is the flute that you were uh, talking about, that you were interested in, the Duke, Carr, and Ebony. This is a small Anasazi, this is the large Anasazi. You see, this one is about 26 inches, this one roughly 30 inches, just a little short of 30 inches. Uh, quite a difference. Okay. Much easier to reach the holes on this small Anasazi, which is why the holes are all in one line. Um, the large Anasazi, in order to be able to reach the holes, I have to offset the hole for the, uh, for the ring finger. Okay, I'll give you an idea of what they both sound like. Um, putting on my high-tech rubber band here to hold my microphone. And what we'll do is I'll give you um, the sound dry, which means without sound effects, without any reverb, and then the sound with slight reverb. Okay, this is the full-size and the size <laughs> out there, Michael Allen makes, makes one, um, several other people, but uh, his is one that comes to mind because I happen to own one. Uh, so it is the same size, the bore is smaller, this is a three quarter inch bore versus a seven inch, seven eighths of an inch on the large one. Okay, this is the sound, dry without any uh, any reverb. sound right off the bat, um, whereas the embouchure of the large Anasazi, um, I don't know if you can see the difference, uh, it's just quite a bit bigger, um, this is, this is going to be slightly diffi more difficult to play than the smaller one, so I don't know if that makes any difference to you, but I would mention that. Okay, 